What is going on, everyone? Today we are back playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Last that last episode was crazy. We got a lot of stuff that's going on now, so let's uh let's go talk to Dutch. He looks like he's already talking to a Mark, bunch of people here. Have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my gun? The boy? Son? Where'd he go? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh, like oh my god. Sound like Braithwaite, boys. Where's my son? <clears throat> if anything, I where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, Hell you yeah. have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Oh, shit. Right now. <laughs> Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah. Yeah, things are really ramping up. Anyone strange turns up, you kill him. <laughs> you. Let's ride. Dude, okay. we got a lot of guys. Let's Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, that's how you know this is a solid group of men here. Like they like obviously they're doing criminal stuff most if of the time, but like we they stick up they stick up for each yeah. other and they're always you know they'll go to war for each other. I know I heard about John too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Or if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Jose. Dude, the atmosphere looks incredible right now. Another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. <laughs> Hell yeah. I think Dutch is the best um, side character. Well, not side character, but you know what I mean. Characters other than Arthur. Oh shit. Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Dude, we're just fucking rolling up to this ball. <laughs> I hope this turns into a giant battle. It's God, all right. They're gonna fire back, you know? <laughs> we better be locked and loaded. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Um, what weapons do I want? That sounds good. Now, Jack, we should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Yes, yeah, way too late. I'm <laughs> gonna fix this right now. Come on, let's get this done, John. You sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they're oh, shit. Us. I don't think so. <gasps> Dude, look at how many guys we got. <laughs> there they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let for real those sons of bitches. John, I need you to stay calm. This is so cool. Get down here now, you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? <laughs> Easy, John. This is gonna turn to a battle. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young. Dude, boy. I'm scared. I'm scared someone's gonna die here. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. Oh, 
Oh shit. Things are getting crazy already, man. We just started. Whoa. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Whoa! Let's go! Holy shit. All right, it is doing exactly what's happening is happening. I'm taking most of them out just fine, though. Damn, that guy took like four shots. Get the cover over here. Nice. Parker, John, Is that all? The rest of you, watch out here. There's gonna be more inside for sure. I never got throwing knives. Let me grab a shotgun real quick. Is there anybody in here? Actually, I think we killed them all. Break lock. This house reminds me of the house from uh, Django Unchained. More coming in? Holy shit, okay. Damn, they're on fire. <laughs> Hold on. Got a Molotov. I have no idea if that'll hit anyone, but it's worth a shot. Damn, I don't think that did anything. Downstairs? Oh, this way. Are you gonna help me out here? Hey, I'm over here, bro. This gun ain't doing shit. It's only a 20. It's a 22. That's why. It's gotta be the weakest and damaged gun I've ever seen. Looks like they're running. Yeah, they're running. Let's run away into that room. All right. Oh, you can come through the back. Yeah, there we go. Come on, this must be it. I can't see a goddamn thing. Do, you, do I have to help you? Like. I'm not sure what to do. Oh. <laughs> One, two, three. No! Oh, shit. Oh. No. Oh. Shot his face off. Damn. Where the hell's the kid? Kill you too, old woman. 
Mm, you bastards! Where's the boy? Boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them. <laughs> unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You The Dutch is so badass. All right. We get her out of here. What about them? <laughs> now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, we reckon they're all dead. Dude, the animations, look how detailed they are. Burn this dog to the ground. Oh, we're burning it down? <laughs> you boys sure Jack ain't in here. We searched everywhere, Dutch. Dude, Dutch is tossing her around. <laughs> you got that one, Arthur? Oh yeah, let me let me take care of it. Let me take care of it. I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Pick up hat? <laughs> Just took the damn hat. Oh, this is awesome, bro. Take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite. You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in They're just gonna Mr. shoot her. Matthews. Yes. Yes. That's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. Oh, so God. my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> God damn, that was probably the best mission in the game so far. Just having the whole squad together like that, rolling up, that was sick. That was so sick. It's gonna work out, John. Gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. I don't Nobody know. takes a boy to harm him. I don't know about nobody. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but... Well, of course, Marston's scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. Oh, shit. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. <laughs> Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're <laughs> aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man so in love with greed he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? I've noticed as this game's gone on, the dialogue's gotten better and better. All souls you led so horribly astray. I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. 
But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. Oh, in that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. Oh, shit. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. Oh, All shit. We have to move. Die. We're in a move camp, Run aren't we? Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. Yeah, we got to move. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. The swamps. Sure eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. I don't remember what place he's talking about, to be honest. Sure no I'm sure I'll remember when we get there. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you get packing. Come on, John. God damn. This is crazy. We'll get this is crazy. We need a new spot Follow me. I like the new hat I gave him. <laughs> Why not? He looked like he needed a, needed a hat. I might give him a haircut soon though. I don't know. I like I like the look for now, but we'll we'll, we'll change it up later. It's gonna be all right, John. Should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drove right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? What stuff they're doing, it's kind of hard to be quiet. It's Dutch playing his games. Mosaic, too. Get involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. <laughs> Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always I like John. work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean. Sorry, I know I'm going fast, but <laughs> keep up, bro. Come on. He really is quite slow, huh? We can only move on. One day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. So, oh, this place? I think I know hey, where we are. Put all this, on Dutch. You're worked up. this is really close to the, like, the town That's area, right? Ahead. Yeah, this place. We're moving up in the world. You Wasn't this the one that was yet. previously a uh the sooner we get this done, the better. I don't forget. Sure this place is empty? I know it's near the Civil War place, sure right? Nothing. All right. Or yeah, this is Let's the civil this is partially Yeah, because it still has the stuff all set up. But this is actually really good because if we ever get attacked, having all this cover and stuff. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. 
I want to use some throwing knives. Where the hell is this guy? I want to stab him. <laughs> yes, I got to stab him. Yes. <laughs> should I should I do it? Let's let's do it. Nice. <laughs> oh shit. Anyone else? Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Where are you creeps hiding? Come out with me. You tough guy. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't throw that well enough. This is ours now. That's it. How about we fight? What does he only have a knife? Oh fuck yeah. I'm gonna skin you, you white. Come on. Come on. Oh shit. Nice. Come out with your hands up. You can still I could be shooting them, but this is more fun. I'll let him waste all his bullets. <laughs> I'll let him waste them. You're gonna pay for what you've done. Come here, motherfucker. You fools should have left when you yeah. had a chance. That's what you get. I knew you'd come. Who the hell are you? You are some of the coward like you. The bounty hunters. The f <laughs> Up there. I think we're clear. <laughs> he was reaching for his gun, bro. What do you what do you want me to do? <laughs> Dude, I think his head's gone. <laughs> do you see how he, he flew over the fucking table, bro? What are you doing? Oh my god. Yeah, I guess this place is good. Common. Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. All of them? The There's quite a lot of them, though. Follow me. Where are we putting them? All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Yeah, that makes sense. Damn, this is this has been a crazy uh crazy episode so far. Drop them right in there. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You gonna, gonna make me do all that? Man. Damn. Pick up another body from the house. Where's Oh, it's upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Probably get this one with the. F what? Oh, how did it move? How did it get over here? I don't know how that body got over there, but I'm not gonna question it. I thought I thought bro was still alive. I was like, bro, what do you mean I shot? His head's gone. <laughs> oh. I do like the look, look, looks of the swamps out here, though. All right, it's not gonna make me do the rest, right? <laughs> Thank God. 
I was gonna say, don't make me do all of those bodies. Welcome home, all you, to uh, my humble abode. We got fine living. Northern it's our third place to live in, that's cool. Paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur. This place actually has a house. You know, we're not just living out in tents. Come on. Dodge? Yes. Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the, the voice actor for Dutch sounds a lot like J.K. Simmons. I know it's not him, but it just sounds like him. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. Look at that factory. Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean for the south us in all of this. The mess with those two families losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed the paradise lay somewhere in the west for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. Damn, I'm that's probably gonna be the end of the game, I'm assuming, right? Whatever we do, if they do decide, I don't know. Need more money. We already have a lot, to be honest. <laughs> a real city. The future. Damn, that's just a fact bunch of factories. <laughs> Big cities. They're always repellent. <laughs> exactly. Wow. I'll find you in there. Which we'll city is this? Have we been in this one before? Yes. I don't think so. This isn't the one I went to that one time. But it. This one definitely has a lot more factories, I feel like. Chapter 4. Okay. Saint Denis. This game has so many unique environments, man. Like, this looks so different than everything we've been to before. But yeah, so let me look at the map real quick. Where is this city that we're in? Oh, so this is this city. Okay. I've been here before. I just guess I didn't explore it that much. Because I've definitely been in this city. Um, It's a pretty nice city, I would say. I think the first time I went there, it was like a side mission. So it wasn't even technically... Um, like I wasn't even supposed to technically be there, but... I guess this is our first official introduction. I need to go ask around for Antonio Bronte. All right, dude, this is awesome. But yeah, this looks, yeah, very factory-esque, yeah. All over the place. Okay, yeah, this is the city we went to before. Yeah, it's just a lot more foggy this time around. It's, you, you could really feel the, uh, the fogginess of it. It's so lively though, man. Rockstar knocked it out of the park with this game. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hit you, my horse. I don't think she she died though. She's okay. Whoa! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! I ain't trying to kill anyone else with my horse. All right, let's go in here. The brewery? Brewer brewery. Whoa! Up, cowboy. Is that Dutch? What the fuck are you doing, bro? <laughs> why, why 
would he do that? Funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So if, if I didn't get the um the subtitles, I wouldn't even know it was him to be honest. Very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here we'll in the sun. Oh, I definitely stand out, don't I? <laughs> I definitely stand out. Everyone's all dressed nicely. I'm dressed like a cowboy. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of the world for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> Excuse me. And that's why we love it. Born and raised. I'm out the port of gun if no one, no one answers me. Excuse me. I, <laughs> I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now. How can I help? I'm not impatient. Like man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the <laughs> real stuff. From Scotland. Back where I'm from, it's only 20 cents. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <sighs> Who's asking? Me, I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, he's a dangerous guy. You with, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Well, obviously he knows. Bronte, Angelo Bronte, Mr. Big, Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long stupid <laughs> Big. It makes my skin crawl. I'm so stupid. Why are you cocksucker? You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know. Dude, look at his eyes. He's so out of it. Oh, hey, friend. You, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. All right, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, dude, the amount of detail on this. Holy crap, this is insane. It's really become quite the craze. So is, is this, is this who they wanted me to talk to? His finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just oh, he did say kids. Down. That's such an odd question to ask. You see any kids around here? Well, I guess it's not odd if they're your own kids, but... Hey. <laughs> Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where does he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Hustle by bread. Here. Hustle by bread. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. I'm, I'm coming, bro. Come stuff? on. Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. I think I've been That's to that one. Tribe, right? I've been to a doctor around Famous here. Bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here is a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing Damn. so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Oh, what a piece of shit. Oh my god. I can't kill kids, but... <laughs> oh, I was gonna get my horse. Come on! Our horse is over here. Come on, Claw. We gotta, we gotta catch after a kid. 
This kid done fucked up, man. This kid done fucked up. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Thanks a lot, mister. Where, where'd he go? Stop right now. Hey, on. Oh my god, that guy almost hit him. This is fun as hell. <laughs> Bye, <mister. laughs> what? You really think I couldn't climb that? What do you think I am? I'm Arthur fucking Morgan. Come on. Don't you have pigs to feed? Yeah, I don't know who you think you are. I was just playing. You were just playing my ass. Mister. I'm a good boy. I wash. Give me my things. Here. Bronte. At home. Where? The big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to San Denis, mister. It's quite a town. Get lost. <laughs> that was a fun little thing. I, I enjoyed my time with that. I kind of want to ride on this. Good morning to you. Good morning. Morning to you, sir. I'm gonna make you're gonna make this thing got my horses right there. I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna get up <laughs> There's no point in me being on this Arthur, over here. Is that is that where he is Kid said big house Where you been getting robbed who by <laughs> bunch of children <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian. Mr. Oh no, we were just Biggintown. meeting up with Dutch. It's not Everybody that house, I guess. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently, lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Okay. Genuinely think this has been some of the best best missions we've played so far in this game. I feel like we're at like the I best points like in this game. So far at least. City. Uh. <laughs> Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. Yeah, I didn't expect Arthur to like the city. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. He misses the country. Uh, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Edley Baking Co. Assorted Biscuits. Good morning. Hi. Hello. You new to these parts, sir? Did I sell oh, something here? I don't know if I have anything. Oh, I do. Let's just sell all this shit. Why not? Hello, sir. Do you want to buy anything too, maybe? Clothing? Oh. <laughs> I'm not putting that shit on Arthur's head. <laughs> I am not doing that. Should buy a nice little top hat? No, the hats are a little goofy. I don't know if I could wear those. I don't know if I could put those on Arthur. This one's not too bad. Snake hat. A vest. Oh my god. <laughs> Elk fringed shotgun chaps. This doesn't look too crazy. Yeah, I'm I'm all good in the clothing department, I think. Just fine. Oh, these are all locked. 
Gun oil. Throwing knife. I'll buy some throwing knives. Tomahawks. I don't have any tomahawks. We could buy a new saddle, maybe. Actually, no, he. Uh, I don't think we can. I could buy a whole set. <laughs> oh, this one looks kind of crazy. The death roll. I just, I just can't take him seriously if he's wearing any of this crap. <laughs> um, the desperado. Actually, the wolf coat's pretty sick. I might buy the wolf coat. How do I buy it, though? Oh, I need to... Oh, recipe. I need ram hide. Oh, I see. Okay. So not, not everything is something you can just buy. Out of the damn way. Good morning to you. <laughs> I didn't mean to talk to you like that. You could just rob people. Whatever you do, don't turn around, lady. <laughs> Why is so? That's how you talk to women. Who said that? Good. Let's leave it there then. I didn't say. I, I, I'm just talking. Let me let me try being nice. Gentlemen. Hey. Good morning, friend. You can do better than that, Mister. Hello. You just greeted me already. <laughs> Dude, that is some great NPC shit, though. Like, aware that I just greeted him. He the hard work. He got problems. What? Why you say this? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's looking at me like I'm crazy. Why are you doing this? I'm disturbing the pe. Yeah, you guys can't see my webcam's covered. It says I'm disturbing the peace right now. I'm just. And what exactly is your problem? I'm just talking. Well, I wasn't even talking to you. Okay, tough. Oh no, 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 no! I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I think it's best if I just walk it's away. Easy. Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing. Say hello to you. I'm just playing. All right, we gotta get the hell out of here. We're wanted now. I shouldn't have done that. We're wanted. That was a bad idea. Yep. Really bad idea. That's what I get for disturbing the peace. Maybe I should keep my webcam down here from now on for these last plays, because then you can actually see when I'm wanted or not. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be antagonizing people. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Bounties for $52? Holy shit. It's gotta be the biggest bounty we've ever gotten. Oh no. Oh no, I'm surrounded. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't know where to go. Dude, there's laws, lawmen everywhere. They're literally everywhere. Oh shit. No, 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 don't show my horse. No, no, Claw, where are you going? Claw, where are you going? Oh my god. Oh my god, I just started a... I just, I, I just started a lot. This, this is not good. This is not good. I don't think I'm coming out of here alive. I don't think I'm coming out of here alive. <laughs> what the hell did I do, bro? Oh shit.
Yo. <laughs> hide, hide, hide. Get down, bro. Yo. We use this shit for cover. That's so cool. Wait, we can wait. How do you um? How do you equip your your bandana? I forget how to do that. Oh, it's in here. I should probably use that a while ago. They're still looking. Think I should make a run for it now? Fuck it. Hopefully no one comes from ahead of us. Oh shit, there's some guys over there. Shit, shit, shit. Shit. He's here. Shoot shit. Down. Push in. Shit. We can finish him here, bitch. I, I thought I was hidden. I thought I was hidden. Dude, there's so many cops. What the fuck? No entry. Is there any indoor place I can go to right now? Y'all need to move. <laughs> go, 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 go. Is there any indoor place I can go? Keep off of me. Dude, there's- I look at the map right now, there are people everywhere. Oh my god, dude, there's like a thousand of them over there. Alright, we almost lost them. Holy shit, bro. All right, let's let's not do that again. How about that? Let's 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 just not do that again. And I don't even have my horse now. Oh, here's a little side quest. Why do I waste my time? The hell's this guy on about? You okay, bud? Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and what? What did I do? I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> Here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of... European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? <laughs> what? No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, <laughs> it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity in ways you cannot see. Good for you. Ah! Wait, Damn. I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! Enchanté. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. My friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe <laughs> I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this. You're boat. a goddamn fraud. 
And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watched them conspire, you morons. <laughs> I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, <laughs> show us your magical toy boat. Only this time, let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use We're gonna this control one it? To steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the ball. Oh, Elvis. Hey, I didn't realize that. Okay. Sorry. If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius. And I have whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. Evasive maneuvers. I got one, see? Yes, very well done. Oh shit, that one's too close. See what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. How many did it do? Three? Four? Remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Humley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life, not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Gotta do one more loop. I'm not sure about that. Be mine now. Look. Come on. I'm like, there. oh I'll shit! I got, I guess the mine. I tracked the mine to it. You see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, well, this is gonna be a lot harder. To at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph, ah! train, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not relying no. on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just this one's a lot harder. In the air, like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what thing to fund? What an opportunity! I'm gonna blow myself up no doing this. Stupid enough to pass this up. Not even dimwit here. Hey. You really all work on your salesmanship. Damn. Yeah, I'm just attracting the mines to use it. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. If you hit another mine, the boat is kaput. Understand? I'm trying my best. <laughs> and then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you. Thank you. Bro, setting up there? bombs in it the is pond. The stuff of life, sir. <laughs> it's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Um, if you're ever up near We had no reason to be part of this. Me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Perhaps I will one day. I don't know <coughs> if this, uh, if it uh, becomes something I like want to do. All right.
Like, oh, I kind of want to get my hair cut, but I don't know. It says there's a, there's a lock on it. Does that mean I can't go there now? Yeah, let's go see if we can get a haircut, because I think it's time. I think it's time to get a nice haircut. Oh, shit. Yeah, we can. Let's do it. Hello. Give me a cut. For a trim? Cut my damn so, hair. What do you need? All right, let's do hair first. We could trim it, but we could also, I wanna see styles. What, what styles can we style it with? Oh, fancy. You get a left parted, middle parted. It's like how kind of how I try to go for it, but kind of failing at it. How does it look? Bald is not happening, bro. <laughs> That's just not happening. Buzz looks kind of interesting, especially if he keeps the beard. So that's what we have right now, right, Parted? Let's do Swept Back. Doesn't even need washing to look good. So we could trim it too. Let's see what it would look like. Dude, wait, why does he look like Homelander? Tell me why that hair looks like Homelander. I mean, the beard doesn't make him look like Homelander, but I don't know, there's something about the hair. Like this hair right here, doesn't that look like Homelander's hair? Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. I kind of dig it though. Like that's too short, but this is not too bad. Like I always say, your hair is your first impression. Fuck it, let's do it. Now that isn't half bad, huh? And now let's see the beard because I don't know. I'm not sure what we should do with this clean. Sh what the fuck? He looks weird, bro. That does not look like Arthur Morgan. <laughs> I know it grows back, but damn. What the fuck is that? I don't know, man. This all just looks scary to me. Double fortune, sideburn styles. Nah, maybe we'll just get a trim on it. Let's see. Uh, I don't know, man. Love a gentleman with a well-groomed mustache. I kind of just want to go. I kind of want to just go for the full trim. I don't know. It looks so different, but like I think. I think he deserves a change. If I were to just do the mustache. No, that looks scary. Just do the chin. Fuck it, bro. We're doing it. <laughs> We're doing it. You <laughs> know. Oh my god, dude, he looks scary. I hear Jimmy's wife is sleeping with the barkeep. He looks All so right. different. Ready to go. Shit, man, it was time. Thank you for it was me. time. We were in a coma for how long? Like, come on. I'm not in a coma, but you know what I mean. We were like, we were just down and out for so long. We deserve to have a nice refresher. I like there's a lot of people speaking other languages too. I think that adds to the immersion quite a bit. I'm telling you, there's so many very immersive things about this game that they just do a great job with. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. We're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 uh, would put us sure. on our way. You know, I guess. $20 ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's 
very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be I can loot it? No, oh, I can't, bro. When the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. There's no way I'm gonna <laughs> What do you think you're doing? No, I'm joking. It was a joke. It was a joke. Right no, 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 I'm closing it. No, 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 no. No, I closed it. Okay, I might as well take it then. I'm already a witness. I'm taking it. I'm already it's too late. It's too late. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. It's too late. I've already started. I already started. It's too late. I can't go back. There was only five extra dollars in there. I stole my money back in plus five dollars. That was not worth it, bro. I was thinking maybe there'd be like a hundred in there or something. Wow, I'm a terrible, I'm a terrible person, man. I am a terrible person. <laughs> oh, this game is so funny. Oh wow, look at this. Look at this. This looks nice. I want to check this place out. Can I go inside of this? Oh, move! This looks nice. Look at all these plants. And flowers. Oh, looks nice. Oh boy. Come on, Claw. What are you doing? Claw, come on. Claw! Claw! Can you help me, miss? My, my, my horse seems to be in the way here, and I can't even get on it. I was hoping that was gonna scare the horse. No, no, no! Come on, I'm gonna get cops me again, bro. Bro, they, 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 they ain't as hardcore out in this city, man. They hear a gunshot and they're like, calling the police, man. If I shot in the middle of the countryside, they wouldn't do nothing. I love, I love how mirrors work properly in video games. They're so cool. And I'm apparently stuck in here. Oh, there we go. My horse moved. Come on. No, we don't need witnesses. We don't need witnesses. Is this the witness right here? No, I can't kill her. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. She was a witness. She was a witness. I had to do it. I probably gained like 10 more witnesses in the process, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do it. I had to, she's a witness. There's no way she's still alive. Dude, this is fucked up. <laughs> oh my God, this game is so fucked up. But I had so much fun. <laughs> Yeah, that was too many witnesses, bro. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Look at this cute little area. This game is so fucking funny, man. Oh my god. Let's go do one more mission. One more mission for the day. Dude, I just look so different. There you are. I love it though. You boys ready? Of course. What else? That'd be funny if they made a comment guy? about my haircut. Not much, just these some slick little greasy haired Europeans clearly got power and money. 
Now, listen. That's the house right there. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place? I don't know, man. <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <laughs> Get your boss down here and now, so we can. He's already pointing guns. Like gentlemen. <laughs> Run along now, boy. Was that that charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Hey, that was not charm, bro. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. What does this guy look like? Nathan. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know this actor. He always plays Italian, guys. I'm not assuming because he is Italian, but you know. Excuse <laughs> me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. <laughs> oh, shit. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? <laughs> Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent Damn. bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodore, <laughs> that's an embarrassing woman, <laughs> Angela Bronte. <laughs> what? Anderlin, uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. <laughs> John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. That's the strangest interaction I've ever seen in my entire life. Just like flip the switch there. So, uh, <laughs> can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know, you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, 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 so, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. Oh, what shit, it? it's not gonna be a, a simple job, is it? to grave robbing in the cemetery. No, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy, <laughs> I love you! <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> <laughs> Salute. Salute. God damn. Oh, it looks so nice here at night. God, 
kind of want more guns. I feel like I'm running low on good guns, you know? I do have a lot of guns, but I feel like, I don't know. I want more. Come on then. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? <laughs> we don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. We'll see. That'd be fucked up if they brought him out and he was like dead or something. we were going to hold Jack Branson for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. What are you doing? doing? You were knocking me. Christ, Arthur. Young you're Jack you're... rides better than you. You were knocking into me. I just hope you're right. Oh, nice horses pooping. This way. Someone's there. Who the hell's that? Well, I just saw someone. I don't want to shoot them, though. It's a dog. Yeah, I don't know where these guys are. Oh, I see her. It looks like a woman. Alright. Gotta keep looking. What the fuck is this? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. A friend died. Oh. They can hear us, you know. I don't There's think this no is the grave robber. You should get yourself home. Sooner we get this done, sooner we get Jack back. Yeah, that's not a grave robber. Well, the woman I just saw, I saw some woman in like a black cloak. It looked like a nun or something, but I don't, I mean, I don't think she was the grave robber. I don't know. Why was she running around all ominously though? What the hell? Oh shit. trying to draw us out and it's working because I'm doing I'm, I'm going along with it let's get after him 
Where the hell are they? They run out? Oh, what the fuck? I thought there was a guy over here. shot at us from <sighs> Robin grave robbers we've hit the big time <laughs> like I said let's look around where they jumped it was that like there was doors or something oh this Here, please. Let's go. Fuck. Get out that gate. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Oh, no. Come on. Let's go around the side. Coming this way. Get down. I'm here. I found a body. <sighs> Looks fresh, still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Go, John. Ho, ho, ho. Go, 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 go. Oh, they're gone, they're gone. We can go now. John, come on. Go, 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 go. Grab a horse. Hey, why is this happening? Damn, bro, that was that was a close one. I'm not even waiting for John. Fuck it. Well, <laughs> John will catch up. Lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there. Collect our side of the deal. You all right? You best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Yeah, I'm not expecting this to go smoothly. He's not just going to hand over his son. even going to know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, would you see where Where'd our hat go? <laughs> whatever, I don't know where the fuck the hat went, but whatever. Well, you took your time. 
Where's your host? Oh, there you go. That's it. You took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank I'm Mr. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, our Nice. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> what? And us, just simple country boys. Hey. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. I thought he was talking to me at first, and I was like, what do you mean? I already know that. <laughs> I hope you guys go there. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. Papa Bronte? I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my <laughs> own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. <laughs> it looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, <laughs> cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Interesting. Look out! You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. <laughs> you know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. That'll be fun. I think I see Jack. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son. Everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. Nice. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? Dude, John is such an interesting character. Just looking at his face. You can tell he, he wants to get closer to his son, but he just, he just hasn't ever really been that close to him. We met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, Hell let's yeah. have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Hey, thank you, Arthur. I... I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. <laughs> Do as Dutch says. Like I said, I think John, John and Dutch are like the top family. two characters other than Arthur for me. Wow, they're singing for uh, singing for the boy. Damn, Javier is a great singer. Come on! 
I'll take a seat. He's just sitting over there in the dirt. <laughs> Lenny. You know, me and you should go get some drinks in San Denis sometime. I ain't sure that's a good idea. <laughs> Come on. It was one bad night. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Hey, Arthur, have a little faith. The time I, hang. Uh, I think so. Tell us again. Sure. So I got caught doing... What was he eating in the dirt for? I feel like I can breathe again. I know. Thank you, John. I'm sorry if I was... Well, I was just worried sick. I know. I'm just eavesdropping okay. into their conversations. Is that all up now, Jack? Okay, Mama. Sorry, it ain't. Spaghetti. Can I join the conversation? Good to see you smiling again, Abigail. Thank you again. This Truly. Uh, I miss right, that little right. rascal. Boring bastard. Uh, someone I never saw. He shot the rope. Clean through. No stopping you, Karen. You better believe it. <laughs> Just save some for the rest of us. We're gonna end it there for today. I think that's the perfect place to end it off. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out, everyone.